Hey everyone, it's Jess. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all staying safe in this crazy world we live in. And if you're in one of the states that has high amounts of COVID-19, I hope you are staying safe and well. Um, I live in North Carolina. So now this state is like in the red. I never really was going out too much to begin with around people, but I'm definitely staying in a lot more than I was. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to do the summer journal tag by Reed, by at Reed Love Journal. I've been seeing a lot of people doing the summer journal tag, so I thought I would join in. It's thundering outside. Um, looks like we're getting a storm. <laughs> So if you hear any thundering, that's what it is. Maybe it will make this video feel kind of cozy, like we're having a little chat on a rainy summer afternoon. Also, I have decorated my room so much more. I am obsessed with this little area right here. Um, I've just been decorating. I finally got some curtains and hung up some pictures so my bed is a mess I'm washing my sheets and I've also been playing a lot more Animal Crossing lately on my switch so that's been fun just looking for ways to pass the time on weekends because I do get really bored since I haven't made any friends yet and all of my friends are back home so all right let's get into this journal tag so the first question is, what journal are you currently using? Why do you like it or dislike it? How much do you have left? So this right here is the journal that I'm currently using. It is a decomposition book, one of the spiral bound ones. I'm like out of breath for my allergy, so I'm sorry. Um, I've been into using notebooks lately. I had a long time where I was using really jick, <laughs> jick, really thick journals like this one that my uncle got me. I haven't used this one yet, but I was really, um, gosh, I can't speak today. I'm sorry. I was using these kind of journals for a while and they just take so long to get through and are quite heavy. My last journal was a very big sketchbook that was very thick and although I loved using that journal it's nice to kind of have something smaller that I can kind of get through quicker so I like the size I like the fact that it's a notebook um, very portable and the only thing that I dislike about it is I wish this cover was a little more summery I wish when I chose um, when I was choosing my summer journal I chose something that was just a bit more summery, uh, but cats in space is always good. I especially like the scratching post. So that's that. And as far as how much I have left, let's see. I've written some random notes on the last page, but I have this much left. So, yep, I plan on using this until the end of July. I use this paper a lot for writing to-do lists and things like that and I have actually used, ripped out pages to use at work as well when I need to make a schedule or something. So if I don't finish it by August 1st I'm just going to rip the rest of the paper out and use it as notebook paper because I want to start a different journal that is a little more summary. Plus I'm just in the mood to start a new journal for August. All right. The second question is, what is your favorite page so far and why? As you can see, I haven't really been decorating this journal that much. My last journal, the big green one for anyone who's seen that, was heavily decorated. But in here I've been sticking mostly to writing. But my favorite decorated page is this one because it's the only decorated page. I decorated this page for the 1st of July and I wrote just this little like poem. Seaside spells, magic in the air, fairies close, angels everywhere, birthday cake, another year, oh July, you are so dear. My birthday is this month, it's coming up and I will be 27 and I can't believe I'm gonna be 27, guys. Uh, 
kind of grappling with a lot of like pressure of getting older and pressure of like getting married and la 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 having kids um have to remind myself that everyone is on their own journey um but i just have some stickers with verses on them bible verses and um you know like i know god has a plan that's stuff like that is comforting when thinking about my anxieties around turning 27 and getting closer to the big three zero <laughs> then i also just put this picture of this beautiful mermaid in here mermaids kind of remind me of july for some reason so my favorite pages that aren't decorated but just where i liked what i was writing or where i was digging deep because I'm definitely digging deep into emotions in this journal. I have a lot going on. The world has a lot going on. And yeah, I've really been reflecting a lot. So, and also I'm doing parts work and therapy, which is internal family systems. I can do a video about that if anyone's interested. Typically my journal videos are the most popular and I kind of feel bad sometimes when I make random videos, but uh yeah this channel is kind of for me i guess at the end of the day but my favorite pages were these where i was writing about like some therapy things and doing some parts work i'm not going to show you at all but it's very personal this is just like something symbolic and then these quotes i really liked um i guess i was doing some inner child work so let's see I wrote, I don't need a, a space to feel safe. I can find it within, inside myself, a warmness in my chest, my hand on my heart. It's there. I just need to practice finding it. Setting it, it. Settling in and wrapping myself up in the warm safety of my own being, the mother, the child, the self, wrapped up together beautifully, my own inner father, son, and Holy Spirit, a personal trinity, a proclamation of everything that makes me myself wild, free, and loved. I've, I've been doing a lot of stuff with like inner child work because of my childhood trauma and then I just had these two quotes she wasn't born herself she found herself over a long and treacherous road and the more treacherous the road became the more of herself she found that's who wrote it I really relate to that and then I love this quote um there's peaceful there is wild I am both at the same time that's who wrote that quote so yeah, these pages are probably my favorite just because of how deep I was going into self-reflection and stuff like that. All right. Do you have a favorite summer washi? I don't. I haven't used any washi tape in this journal at all. So, um, yeah. <laughs> my washi tape, I don't really know where it is. I'm in the midst of a move and... Um, I have no idea where my washi tape is right now. I think some of it is back in New Jersey and some of it might be here, but I, I don't know. I, I just haven't been into decorating too much. So, all right. Four, have you been keeping track of current events? Do you track or write out feelings or use images to record it? Yes, definitely. So for future reference, when I'm writing in this journal, we are currently dealing with the Black Lives Matter movement and, um, you know, just just spelling so much stuff around that. I don't really want to get into it because I don't really want to get into things that people think are political, even though I don't think that's political. I think Black Lives totally matter. Like, I'm very supportive of that movement. I don't really see why anyone wouldn't be. So that's going on. Then we also have the pandemic right now, coronavirus, and just there's a lot of things going on. So I am journaling about current events. I was watching um, a, this same tag video from Megan Sirey, Um and she said that at first she couldn't really, she like didn't really want to write about the current events. Like it almost felt choked up to write about them, I think might be how she was explained it and then it came a time where she felt like she had to write about it and kind of couldn't stop and when she said that I really related to it because this when when everything started happening with the pandemic 
I wrote about it a lot. Like I was taking lots of notes, but then I stopped and same with the Black Lives Matters movement and I was really devastated and just like kind of grieving a lot over a lot of the violence we've been dealing with but then I did start writing about it I started writing poetry about it and same as the pandemic goes I have been just recording a lot of um a lot of things especially how it relates to my job um I have been working about a month as a ABA therapy tech for um, people with autism. So I've been doing therapy with um, kids that have autism ABA therapy. So with the pandemic going on right now, it's kind of hard to figure out like, like sometimes for my job, I have to go into schools and things like that. And since we don't know really what's going on with schools in the fall because of the pandemic. I've been just like writing a lot about that and my thoughts on all of that. But I I haven't seen any of the kids I work with in schools yet since it's summer break. So I see them all at their house. So, But it will definitely affect my job. And I'm kind of just worried also that um, the state will shut down again and then I will have to go do like telehealth appointments, which ABA therapy is not really something you can do over telehealth. Sorry, now I'm like venting, rambling all my stresses, but yes, I am writing about current events. I'm not really illustrating them, but I am writing poetry about the Black Lives Matter movement. So, all right. What challenges are you having with journaling? What benefits? So, um, I'm trying to think of any challenges that I'm having right now with journaling. Um, when summer just started and kind of when I first moved to North Carolina at the end of March, I wasn't journaling at all, barely. Like, I really wasn't journaling too much. But now, I have been waking up every morning and journaling while I drink my coffee. I've been waking up like an hour and a half before work so that I can have an extra half an hour in the morning to journal which has been amazing and I'm doing morning pages again and it feels really good that's definitely a positive not having friends at the moment in this state like journaling also helps me with that because if I want to talk about something or if I'm feeling lonely I will write write in my journal and then I can kind of almost have a conversation with myself I guess um, it's just something that I like to do and um yeah I've been journaling a lot like at night midday like I just journaled midday today so yeah I'm really liking my journal something that I'm kind of eh, I don't know if it's a struggle or what but uh, I guess one thing I'm having a hard time with is kind of decorating but I don't think I'm having a hard time with it because I don't really want to decorate my journal I go through phases of wanting to decorate and not wanting to and right now I'm in a phase of not wanting to decorate. So I'm totally okay with the way it is. So yeah, overall right now, journaling is going really well for me. All right, number five. Oh wait, no, we just did number five. Number six, what plans do you have for journaling in the summer? So today is July, no, it's July 18th. And I feel like the summer's over, but it's not. Um, so I'll be finishing up this journal in July and then here's my blank journal basket and I'm thinking about doing a collection video but I'm not going to do that right now. I just want to kind of see what my options are. I'm going to just kind of see what journals I might want to use when I'm done with that one. Um, I kind of want to use a small one like maybe just one book like just for August and then start something else in September but I know that I definitely want to have like a designated fall um, journal like usually in the fall I use a paper blanks journal and this is one of this is my last one that I have right now because Barnes and Noble doesn't sell these anymore my boss actually got me this last November when I was in the hospital 
So I want to use this for fall. These are just always a fall notebook for me. I don't know why I always use those for fall. Or I might use this one for fall because I just love fall. It's my favorite time of the year. And um, I just, my favorite holiday is Halloween and I just love autumn. So these are kind of autumnal. So I'm not gonna use those. In September in North Carolina, it's still summer. Like it's really not cold or anything at all. So I'm not sure. So. I have this decomposition notebook and it has mermaids on it, which I think is really cute and really good for summer, the rest of the summer. And then I also have this one, which has these flowers on it, which I think this is just a really pretty color and really also good for summer and kind of like September-y. It gives me kind of September vibes. Then I have this decomposition notebook, which is like camping, which I really love this, but I think I might want to save this one for March. It reminds me of March. Don't know why. <laughs> and then I also have smaller notebooks. Like I have this one that has cats on it. Had this forever. But yeah, I don't really know. I kind of feel like I'm going to, oh, I also have this one, which is pretty small. But I think I'm probably going to, hmm, I don't know, it's a hard decision. I would say I'm probably going to use the mermaid one or this one. So let me know in the comments down below what should be my, my August and September notebook. This one with the flowers or the mermaids. I don't know, that's a hard decision. And I also kind of hope that I start doing some more interesting things that I could write about and maybe collecting more ephemera. Um, it's hard to do interesting things right now with everything locked down and all of that, but um, it would be nice if I could, I don't know, decorate it or take it outside or something. My summer, <laughs> I think everyone's summer is a little stale this year because of COVID, but um this summer is kind of uh, kind of a depressing one to be honest so anything to kind of spice it up uh, would be really cool i'm just feeling really homesick i really liked summers in new jersey um new jersey is a green state now so it's there's no covid and my friends are starting to hang out with each other again like my church is starting to have um you know, things get back to normal and I'm just really missing New Jersey and my friends. This is definitely a summer that will be remembered as pretty melancholy for me, at least June and July. So we'll see if we can turn that around. Uh, but I don't know, maybe I could like, when I start using one of these journals, I can use it to like daydream or like write stories about like summer activities or something creative like that since I kind of feeling very nostalgic for my past summers which have been amazing uh and fun <laughs> but this year it's just me and my apartment and yeah I don't want to end this on a negative note but um thanks for watching guys hope you guys are hanging in there I know this is like a really rough time for a lot of people especially for us like journal people um, who think and feel pretty deeply and I just want to give you all a virtual hug right now and um, you know keep writing keep creating and I will talk to you guys later let me know if you have any requests I know I got a request on an old video a few days ago to talk about like some art therapy things and I would love to do that so I'm looking forward to making a video about that topic and I will see you guys very soon I will yeah see you soon bye <laughs>